that's why, like I said, I felt really guilty that we made it and some of our good friends aren't here with us anymore. Um, and to the families, the six families back home, I'm looking forward to to getting to see you and to spend time with you, to think of our friends that aren't here anymore. To to our friends, we miss you. We we'll, we will always miss you. We'll never forget you. And someday I'll look forward to seeing you all again. And thank you, thank you all again for being here today. Okay, so now we'll take a few questions. I remember the night, yeah. Um, the only thing I don't remember is how I hit the ground uh, exactly. I figure I must have done something like that to protect, to protect my head. Um, and then I remember waking up in the emergency room, and some of my friends were there. Um, and to the paramedics and the first responders on the night. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for as soon as I'm back in Ireland. Well, being with fr my friends and my family, um, the friends of the deceased, the parents of the deceased and the brothers and sisters, uh, being able to see them when we're ready. Um, a big Irish breakfast, you know, having one of them. Um, and then also my aunt, I always have flashbacks of my aunt. She actually made contact with my aunt Carol before my mom and dad got to. Um. He is recovering well from his injuries. He's undergoing specialized hand therapy here right now as an outpatient. He's been discharged from the rehab center. And I think his prognosis for, you know, walking obviously is quite good. He's already doing a little bit of standing for transferring. And, uh, you know, being fully independent, really being able to pursue whatever career he wants, I think is all in his future. What was his most serious injury? Thank you, everybody, for coming out today.